I asked ChatGPT to help me speed up my Shopify store. Here's what happened. First of all, I pulled out one of my old stores. This is the speed score for the old theme. And this is the speed score for the newest version of the down theme. As you can see out of the box, the down theme is quite snappy. Of course, no images or apps were yet added. I am not going to add any content to the theme. I am just going to mess around with the usual suspects, the apps. I'm sure you are tired of seeing this warning when you are running Google Speed Score on your Shopify store. Unused JavaScript sounds so bad, right? Why am I loading up that JavaScript if I don't use it? Well, actually, that JavaScript is not completely unused. It was unused at the moment that the speed test was running. That means that those scripts are not useless, but they might not be needed in the first seconds of your store loading up. Not all scripts are the same, so you will have to judge for yourself if the scripts on your theme are needed right away when your theme is loading. In theory, you should be rendering the visible part of the page, the one above the fold first, which means usually the HTML, the base CSS, the hero image and assets used in that region. If there is a certain script pertaining to a certain app that is not visible above the fold, you could delay its loading until the moment the user is starting to interact with the website. That means that we are going to download the DOM and its files and only after the user starts clicking or scrolling, we will download the apps that are not directly in view. Running the test after I downloaded a couple of apps will most definitely change the original speed result and that is because of the assets that were added to the original code base. To add those assets to my store, apps will either ask me to insert some sort of a script tag into the head of my store or they will just inject the code directly using the Shopify async function. When the app is asking you to add the script to your theme, you get a certain level of control, which means that you could potentially add a defer property to the script, making it load after the entire DOM is loaded. You have to test though, some apps will stop working if you add a defer or an async property to their script tag, which is kind of unfortunate. When the app is injecting the script without your input, you don't have much control over it, not unless you are using this technique. The injected scripts are added by an async function which you will find in the head of your theme. Look for script tags that have no properties until you find something that looks like this. The theory is that we want to stop the script from automatically injecting into the head of our theme and instead trigger it to run when the user starts interacting with the store. That way we can allow the store to load its critical files first and then trigger any remaining app files. After you find your async function in the head of your theme, you will have to copy the URL of the script you want to stop from automatically injecting into your theme. To actually stop it, you will have to capture your content for header tag in your theme.liquid file. You will have to assign a modified content for header that will exclude the particular script URL that you just copied. You will then need to list your newly created modified content for header. After doing this, you will see in your async function that the URL for that specific app was removed and this way the app itself should not be loading anymore at this point. At this stage, we can see the change in the store speed and the impact that the app was having. Now, because we want to still be using that app, but without it impacting the store's performance, I will jump to the trusted chat GPT and ask it to write me a snippet of vanilla JavaScript that would trigger the creation of a script that has the SRC equal to the value of the removed app's URL and do that upon human interaction. I'll create a new snippet named lazyscripts.liquid and in here I will add the code GPT created for me. I'll then render this snippet on the theme.liquid. As you can see the speed score is not affected and the app triggers immediately after I either click or scroll the site. This is a technique that you can use to stop heavy Shopify apps from slowing down your store without having to find alternatives or to stop using the apps altogether. If you find this kind of video informative and you would like to see more, do like, subscribe and let me know in the comments below what is your biggest Shopify pain point. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.